is twenty slide input uh, graduate study experiments at NMEC. So it's a fantastic year uh, for me. And uh, please enjoy my journal at NMEC College. And I find twelve thousand five hundred four hundred miles from the Beijing, China to the Boston to the United States. It's pretty far, far away from my hometown and my home country. So when I was 19, in order to uh, study in high, uh, high education, I studied in Beijing. And this is my student ID. I was so excited to get the student ID. So this is kind of self-approval because I spent almost two years to prepare for the, applying for the graduate school. And uh, this is awesome to prove I got this point. Mm -hmm. And I took a summer class in July. So summer class is a transition period for me from the non-matriculate student to matriculate student. It's also, I take this time to adjust myself to study at Merrimack. So my younger brother, Kenny, helped me commute from the Salem, Massachusetts to the North Andover. And, over. and the summer, I think, is the most beautiful season at Merrimack. And during the summer, I got information about the um, a grad fellow program. So I started to apply for the program. After two rounds of interview, I got the position at the Office of Planning Institute Research and Assessment. And this is my first day work, working at my fellow site. It's on August 20th. And uh, I share the working space with uh, uh, colleagues and uh, admission office. They are super nice and professional. They help me how to use the uh, print machine and uh, some software. So in fall, I took the four graduate courses and I work 25 hours per week. It's pretty busy. And uh, during the fall, I start to learn how to work as institutional research analysis. I learned a lot of uh, software like SPSS and IPDS and IPATRIX. And in winter, not a lot of snow in Massachusetts. It's a good season for skiing. So I start to learn skiing when I arrived at US. Unfortunately, I traced my knee this winter, so it's taken me almost two months to recover my knees. Anyway, I like the skiing. <laughs> and, uh, this is in spring. Of course, this is in spring in Massachusetts. So I also took the four courses and working 25 hours. So I'm busier than last semester because my capstone. So I have conducted 11 interviews. So I need to transcribe, translate, and quantify myself. It's really took a long time for me. And I was super busy every day because I want to have a good performance, not only in my academic and also in my fellow set. At the same time, I want to attend the campus activities as much as possible because I'm an international student. I want to take advantage of campus service to develop myself. And this is my first goal to be accepted by graduate fellow. This is the first goal for my first year. So I spent almost two years studying at the St. Louis State University. So I took an ESL class at first, and then I took some undergraduate and graduate courses to adjust myself into the United States education system. This is my second goal to be accepted by the graduate fellow program. Thanks to my previous work experience, I have been accepted by the position. So I learned a lot from my supervisor, Christine Sullivan. She showed me how to use the software and uh, sent me some meaningful project for me. And this is my third goal to be excellent in academic experiments. So in order to reach this goal, I took advantage of faculty's office hour and I also used the um, campus service such as the ranking center and the uh, uh, libraries research to help me do my uh, capstone. And this is my last goal. So I try to land a job after my graduation. And my position interest is international student advisor and uh, institute research analyst. I have a strong passion to work with international students. That's why I want to be an international student advisor. And I'm really good at dealing with data. So that's why I want to be an analyst. And, uh, I have reached my second, uh, first, second, and third goal. I tried to get my last goal come true, but on the job at my graduation. I know it's not easy, but I will try my best to make my dream come true. 
And in medical community engagement piece, I attended the Autobahn program at Lawrence High School. So I share my personal knowledge life with the high school student at Lawrence. I also work with international students informally as my community engagement assignment for college student success and rotation class. Related to professional development, I attend a lot of training for my fellow side, such as SPS, coaches, and PDNs. And I also coordinate and assist with Sullivan, my supervisor, to working in with the external and internal service. And related to my professional philosophy so, is to emphasize towards students and approach a diverse student body and building personal and academic competency. So I think the student service should be focused on students. We need to think about the students' needs and desires. So thanks to my family and the friend support. So my friends support me emotionally and financially. Without this support, I cannot study abroad in the US. So also thanks to my friend, without my help, I cannot survive in the totally new country. So thank you for the faculty and the peers who helped me go through the whole years. Thank you all of you. And it's not the end of the journal, it's the another start for my next journey. Thank you.